Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to film a get ready with me video for you guys today of just kind of an everyday look that I normally do when I want to look glam, but I don't want to be so over the top and drag. Not that that's a bad thing because drag is always a good thing in my opinion. Um, but I wanted to show you guys just kind of more of my go-to look, I guess, really. Um, but before we get into that, one thing I wanted to share, if you guys notice, I've been doing my hair a lot brighter lately, a lot more vivid. And um, the reason is because I finally found a stylist willing to go there with me and take chances and do some really fun, bright colors. Um, my hair is naturally in the hairdresser world, um, what we call a level four like between a three and a four, which basically means dark AF, okay? Um, and with that being said, when you have to um, put in a bright color, you have to ultimately lift it with bleach and then of course lift it to like a seven or eight, which causes a lot of breakage and issues. And um, for many, many years, people told me, no, we can't, we just can't lift it, Nicole and you have curl on top of that, which of course you guys know if you have curly hair, that cuticle is just naturally blown open. So people were just constantly afraid to take me to that level. So I always kind of settled for a caramel honey type of look. Um, and then they had the inventions of your Olaplex and your B3 bonder and a lot of these different bonding treatments that are now being used in your hair care, in your color to help maintain the hair um, safety and integrity ultimately and be able to lift more comfortably and safely and know kind of how how to push your hair without really pushing it and then catching your hair as it falls and breaks out of your head. So long story short, um, I found this awesome girl, Leah. She's my girl, my home girl, um, and I love her, and she's helped me just work with a shadow root and lots of fun colors. I was purple for a while. Now we're kind of more magenta purple and some pinks in there, and it's been great, but flash forward to summertime, you guys know even if you're not a rainbow color and you are just blonde or whatever color, red, that hair color is hard to keep and it's especially hard in the summertime. So um, one thing that I have been using, and this is not a paid advertisement, this is just strictly my own personal preferences of products that I really love and wanna share with you. Um, people always tend to stop me and ask me how I keep my hair pink. Does it last long? Oh, they'll say, I really wanna do that, but I just know it would wash right out and it would cost me so much money. And I was afraid of that too. But then I discovered Caracolor. And Caracolor, these are what we call the conditioners. This one is just your base conditioner treatment with no color in it, as this one is gonna be one that has hot pink in it. And I also use purple as well. And um, long story short, they what it says on the back is it kicks sulfate soaps suds to the curb. It is a non-lathering conditioning cleanser designed to gently cleanse, condition your hair, and it has a crystal water complex to neutralize harmful impurities and give you that vi vibrant, just sexy, hello there hair. Um, and what I didn't understand about the whole like neutralizing chlorine that I learned from their Instagram actually, is that you can use the initial um, Caracolor conditioner and use it um, for a treatment post swim. So if you are like me and you have kids and you're busy and they wanna go swimming, this is excellent because you can use this to preserve your color, lock in your shine and your health and wash away any of the chlorine and crap that's kind of get stuck in your hair. Um, the conditioner with color is excellent because you can do it on pre-light in hair as light as this blonde in here. I don't know if you guys can see that color, but basically you can put this on blonde hair, you can put this on lightened hair, pre-lightened hair, or you can use it on existing color as it's starting to fade. And however, you know, light the hair is, obviously with the blondest being the lightest, you're gonna get different 
kind of variations of pink based on that. So I use this to maintain my pink um, and I've, I've honestly only used it once, but um, so far so good. And then, like I said, I mix a little purple in there because I have a little bit more magenta based. Um, but my conditioner I use constantly because it's an awesome, awesome product and you can use it like a co-wash basically. So you do, you know, your typical shampoo and conditioner and then on the off days you would use your conditioner just to kind of work as a treatment for both. And then another great product is the Purify Plus. This is a leave-in conditioning treatment and they also have a light formula. I use the heavier because I do have very thick hair. But long story short with this is it's just the same kind of complex that you have, the crystal water complex in here, but it's a leave-in treatment and it really helps to coat the hair and lock in the hair, give it protection. So this is excellent before you swim. You're going to wet down your hair and then put this product all over from roots to ends, comb it through, and it acts like a coat. So it's almost like sunscreen for your hair in a way. And it just locks out any type of harmful rays and allows you to be able to swim in the chlorine and not disrupt the color that's on your head. And then after you come out of the pool, you can go ahead and use that treatment again once you rinse. And then you can also finish that evening with a full treatment of the conditioner in the shower. So really great tips just on how I'm able to keep my color and keep it so fun and vivid and literally go almost three months without touching it up. Um, honestly, the only reason I go is because I do have to color my roots because I'm getting up there on age and my sparkles show. Um, but if it wasn't for that, I could probably go longer with my overall color. But the initial color, I will say, is done by a professional, and she's awesome at what she does. But this is just a great way for me to personally maintain it and um, not have to go every you know four to six weeks and spend that kind of money. I don't mind spending it when I love the results, but at the same time, a girl's got a budget. <laughs> And so this is a great way to do that and also just keep your hair safe. I'm gonna put a primer on my skin and to do that, I'm gonna use this sample of Peter Thomas Rop Skin to Die For. This is like a no filter mattifying and poreless finish filter primer. And it has like a little bit of a skin tint to it, but I really like it because even though my skin gets very sensitive and dry, I do have very visible pores. And in my T-zone, I especially get oily. So I just kind of press this in. Let that set. And then actually what I've been doing too that I love is I've been mixing in another sample of Bobbi Brown's Extra Illuminating Moisture Balm. And I got this from Sephora, I think. But I really like the texture of this. And I feel like the combination of both just really helped to prep my skin and boost it up. So I get that little bit of oil control and pore control. And then I also get that hydration and glow. Okay guys, so I'm kind of winging this look right now. because I don't know exactly what I want to do, but I know kind of like what I normally do on a day-to-day -day basis. But um, yeah. So um, one thing I found that I have not used in a while is the um, Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. This is in Toasted Coconut, which is a little bit rich for me, um, but I have been getting color. Even with like sunscreen, I reapply, I do what I'm supposed to do, and it's just like inevitable. I get color and I hate it. Um, Cause like I like a little color, but honestly I just get so nervous about the sun because there's just so much to worry about with UVA rays and UVB. But anyway, um, this is kind of on its last leg. But I'm gonna mix this with a little of my Cover FX Power Play in the color N25. And um, I did this the other day and I actually really liked the combination of both. So I'm gonna mix them again. Um, and I feel like this Cover X 
cover FX one shears out the Huda Beauty just a little bit because the Huda Beauty is very heavy and full, full coverage. But um, I love the longevity and just the kind of airbrushed finish of the Huda Beauty. I don't know about you guys, but it's so bomb. But yeah, I've been watching the, um, I watched the first episode of the Huda Show on Facebook and I really liked it. I um, give them a lot of props, like now, like kind of learning more about her and her sisters and all the hard work that they've put into build, building their brand and just their overall, you know, vision and success and what they're trying to achieve and being like completely inclusive as far as their makeup and their skin tones and colors and things. And I just think that that's really, really cool. Um, I've always liked the um, Catan women. So it is summer vacation in my house, you guys. And, um, you know, I love having the kids around, don't get me wrong. But I'm not the cool Pinterest mom that has, like, different um, arts and crafts planned for, like, every day. I'm so bad at that stuff, you guys. I'll be the first to admit it. Love my boys to death. I like doing like active things with them, like swimming or going for a walk or taking a bike ride, but um, I'm just not the artsy creative mom that has like something different planned every day. So <laughs> it's just been like crazy because my one of my sons likes to just go, go, go. The other one could kind of care less. He'll just go with the flow. But man, summer is like a lot of work and it makes you appreciate your children's teachers because they just keep them so entertained all year long. Um, really quick, I mixed Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define with Kylie Jenner's um, Skin Concealer and I will link colors down below, but you guys have seen me use that before. And I'm just gonna start with a BH brush and start to blend out a little bit and then finish it with a beauty blender and um, I like the mixture of both personally I, I like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer a lot but I'm finding that with my skin sometimes it collects more underneath my eyes um, because it's very very drying and unfortunately I used to be very oily but now as I get older <laughs> I'm finding my skin more and more sensitive and just having to play around with different things and try different things. So, such is life, huh? Gravity is just getting the best of me lately. I'm starting to use retinol. I'm going to set with my Derma Blend, my favorite. I actually just wrote, like, I don't know, I'm corny, guys. I went and, like, emailed a bunch of different companies that I love and basically it was just kind of like letting them know these products are so bomb these are on point um and just you know give them a shout out let them know how much I appreciate their time and their efforts and one of those companies was Derma Blend because I really really love this powder I mean I put this on and my makeup is just put all day. It survives this ridiculous heat that I live in in the South. So basically all I did right now is I just went in and kind of worked the translucent powder all over my face, but I'm predominantly just baking underneath my eyes as well as along my jawline. Um, but I do set the entire face. I just kind of let the under eyes and jaw sit longer but I literally go through and just gently kind of buff and roll product all over my face and my neck because I like it to really stay put but anyway I'm gonna 
jump forward now and I'm actually gonna do my contour first. I wanna use my Makeup Revolution London Pro HD um, Powder Contour. This is the light medium shade and um, I really love these. I'm starting to hit pan on quite a few of them, but I like the variety of colors in here. I like some of the ashiness that's in these tones and that they're not super warm, all of them. I find with a lot of these um, more affordable palettes, like especially the new Morphe ones, they're just so warm toned and unfortunately not all of us look good in that. Um, Sometimes the warm tones just accentuate and make the face look rounder and don't really give you that chisel. Whereas this particular powder works really well for me. I'm gonna mix this on a dense BH brush. And start working this into my cheekbone area. I'm gonna go under the jaw. And you can use a more fluffy brush. I like a little bit more of a dense finish because I wanna conceal more and contour more. I'm just gonna use um, a dual-sided shadow brush here to do a little bit of contour on my nose as well. Again, I'm not picking the darkest colors. I'm just kind of mixing a few of the lighter ones together and just kind of coming in on the sides here. I start with the fluffy side first just to kind of create the direction I want. And then I use the smaller end of the brush to make it more defined. And I take a little bit around my lip as well. Now, just to um, kind of blow out some of the contour and blend it out, I'm gonna use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in a Morphe brush. And we're just gonna come in and kind of like right above the contour, right on top of the cheekbone. We're gonna work this and then of course, into the temples, kind of where the sun always naturally hits. And then down on the actual jaw. So not under, but on the jaw. I even go a little bit into my crease of my eye. Just really, really look glowy and bronzy because it's summer, summer time. Okay, so I will go ahead and finish the rest of my face and everything later, but while the bake is still somewhat there and still kind of fresh, I'm just going and make sure this is like not clumping. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start work on the eyeshadows. Let's see if I can find my favorite brush. Okay, so for every day, I really truly do use my Jaclyn Hill palette. I know you think like, wow, that's just so many shadows to think about, but there's so many different looks you can create with this and it's so versatile. And I really think she hit it on the nail with this palette. And I really hope Morphe does like a second Jaclyn palette. I know they're doing the vault stuff now, but um, a second big palette would be awesome. But anyway, I take a mixture of the two lightest shades and I'm just gonna work them all over the brow bone and onto the lid just to highlight and prime. Now I'm gonna come in to <clears throat> these two colors here. I wish the colors were on the palette itself, but I'm gonna come into um, these two colors here and just work them on the same brush. This is an A12 from Anastasia, another favorite of mine. And um, you wanna work very gently with these. You don't need a whole lot, but we're just kind of working this all over the lid and into the crease. So it should look a lot like skin, especially if you're um, kind of neutrally olive like me. It should look very natural. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do a second coat of those two colors. 
Another cool thing about those two shadows too, specifically these kind of like beige -y neutral tones is that you could literally just do that, put on some mascara or some eyeliner and mascara and go. Um, but I wanna add more definition. So now I'm gonna take it into this color here, um, which is kind of like this a step down, a little bit more red in this color here, like a reddish brown. And I'm gonna take this on a Sigma um, E40. And so we're still fluffy. We're tapering down with our brush. And this is going just in the crease. So we're not gonna go on the lid with this, but we're gonna kind of blend this starting from the outside and then working our way in. But I don't wanna do this all over the lid. And you'll see it's just adding ever so much definition into that crease, just taking it a step down. Now I'm gonna go in with an M441 on my Morphe brush, and I'm just gonna add a little bit more pop, and I'm gonna go into this color. We were working with this, now we're gonna go just a little bit deeper, and I'm just barely gently moving my brush in there. I don't want a whole lot. This color has a little bit more, um, I guess you would say kind of reddish color to it. Um, the other one was like a teddy bear brown. This is like a true red brown. We're gonna tilt my head and again, do the same thing starting from the outside corner, working my way in. Again, we're on a tapered brush now and a flatter brush. So we're gonna get a lot more placement with this color. But again, I wanna keep it soft. So I'm just gonna gently pull into the inside corner here. And you can already see there's a lot more color there. Okay, so I know you guys are thinking, wow, I thought this was gonna be an everyday look. This looks a little dramatic, but don't worry. We're gonna go back in with our A12 right now and those really soft, neutral, kind of taupey brown shadows. And just take a little bit of those back on this A12 and we're gonna smooth this into the crease and just kind of tone it. So now you can see blended, unblended. And I always take a step back and just look and see where we're at and it looks good. Everything looks softer, blended. And um, yeah, next I wanna work on the lid. And because I do wanna keep this pretty soft and pretty natural, I'm gonna take this color one by one, which is from ColourPop. It's a color shock or super shock shadow. And it's kind of like a peachy gold color. And I'm just gonna work this on my finger. And we're gonna smooth this onto the lid using just our finger. It has a really pretty golden kind of peachy color to it. And for some people, depending on how like golden your skin is, the undertone, it might even look like skin tone color. Um, and I like that because I just want it to be very soft and natural. I don't need a lot of sparkle. I don't need a lot of pop. Grab another Super Shock. This is the color Lightning Bug. I really, really love this. It's definitely more of your true gold, um, almost like a coppery gold. And I'm gonna pop a little bit of that and work that into that soft peach color. I don't want a lot, because again, I don't want a real, you know, saucy, fancy lid, but I want just enough that in the light, if you turn, you're gonna have that little bit of glow on the skin. And that is it as far as the shadows go. Um, the next thing that I wanna do is just go ahead and work with some liquid eyeliner. And um, I picked up this one from Makeup Revolution and I'm curious to try it. Um, it's a typical like pentulate liner, but we'll see, So I'm very, you guys know I really love my Stila, my Stay All Day, and I love Maybelline Curvitude. So um, I swatched this and it was really black, so hopefully it'll work good. But I'm gonna come across the lid. I'm actually gonna start from my inside corner and then I'm just gonna kind of map out a little bit of what I want.
of this liner. However, the tip is a little difficult. I'm used to a tip that kind of works more with me. It's a very stiff one. That's what she's bought. Okay, so this is actually not bad. And for the price point, I think it was $7.99 or $8.99. Um, this is a really good liquid liner. I'm liking it. Um, may have to add it to my collection, guys. I don't know. All right, so let's go in now and we're going to start dusting away whatever is left as far as bake. And I don't have a whole lot. A lot of it has melted in, which I'm very, very grateful and happy about. It's another reason I love this Dermablend powder because it really blends in beautifully. But I'm just gonna dust away anything that's potentially lingering right now. And I'm gonna go in with this um, Charlotte Tilbury powder. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish in the color two, medium. Um, I wasn't sure which color to get just because some of the colors seemed so light with this powder, but I'm really liking the number two for this time of year. Now I'm gonna take a Real Technique sponge and a little bit of this yellow powder and this pink powder and mix them together to get a neutral highlight. And we're gonna place that on the high point of the cheekbone and give ourselves more of like a matte highlight. I'm gonna take this really pretty Coral Cove color. This is from uh, Milani. And we're just gonna pop this on the apples of our cheeks. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do my mascara off camera and um, for brows today I'm not even going to fill them because like I said this is more of my go-to everyday look and I actually just work with my natural brows. There's not a whole lot to them so um, generally I just kind of fluff them up with a brush and then I use a little bit of um, NYX Control Freak brow gel just to kind of lock them in place throughout the day but honestly some days I want a gorgeous sculpted brow and then other days I just kind of want to work with nature and whatever God gave me so <laughs> I'm gonna do that really quick uh, for lashes I'm using my trusty lash sensational by Maybelline and then we'll come back and finish our lips together Okay guys, so that's it as far as the mascara and the brows. I don't put lashes on you guys. I keep it really basic as far as that goes for my day-to-day -day look. Um, still glam, but just comfortable enough that I don't feel like over the top if I'm at a doctor's office or something like that. But anyway, I like to break up some of the powders and foundation and just kind of reset it at this point. So I'm gonna use my Fix Plus Pink Light from MAC Cosmetics. Now for lips, I'm gonna use my ColourPop Bumble. This is down to the nitty gritty. It's a really pretty kind of pinkish, rosy red color. And um, it's not too red, not too pink, but I love the color tone. <laughs> actually take a little bit of um, Laura Mercier. This is the Velour Matte Extreme Sticks. This is the color Fresh and it's a little bit more raisiny. Um, still in kind of like that pinky family but almost like a raisin pink and I'm going to add this now to that kind of reddish pink. And I'm avoiding the inside because I'm actually going to do a little bit of an ombre look and put a little bit of nude on the inside of my lips. Now using the lipstick color pop, or excuse me, the lipstick boy from ColourPop, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this nude color and work this in the center of my lips.
Okay guys, so this is the finished look and this is my pretty much go-to everyday kind of glam look. Um, I definitely have my tinted moisturizer, mom mode, workout mode days. I have my I don't give up you know what days where I don't put anything on, but this is when I wanna look glam, I wanna feel sexy, but I don't wanna be so glam and so over the top. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. And really quickly, I just wanna give another shout out for Caracolor. Um, I really, really love these products and I hope that you guys check them out. I'm gonna link information down below of where you can find these products and learn more about them. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Comment down below, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time. Is the light most key? Wildflower seed of sand.